After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. <laughs> Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Mooma's love. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here, to see them, the Potato People. <laughs> the Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder, somehow interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. <laughs> Magic? He claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass, he says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. You've found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. You will need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves, where they draw mineral from the natural rock. <laughs> 
One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Moomer comes looking for you. You did good here today. That's not true. She's the reason there's still unity, and the only one strong enough to keep the six Wang Fu disciples disciplined. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And records tell of the ruinous devastation the Toxanol Corporation inflicted on the land. The apocalypse sparked a re-evolution, the second coming, and our lineage. You're getting a hang of it. The quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Know that the Tree of Life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see.
must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the World Eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. He can't understand why you'd do such a thing. He won't make it out of here on his own. Good work, clever cogs. Let me guide you into the dark. Seriously? I always thought better of you than that. And you were wrong. There's always more dark than light. There's still time to turn back. They're already heading down my road. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there's two nearby. The Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and most importantly, feared. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagney's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. In Jagni's case, letting the World Eaters bring down the Tree of Life is part of their plan. They believe a cleansing is the only way the world can be saved. He'll be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters.
Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> They've restroyed this area.
That might come in handy. Lost past like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. He understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? At least you learned that you'll drown if you don't swim. But you need practice, lots of practice. He's sure you'll have to face the consequences of that sooner or later anyway. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. He knows that's not true. You've just made up your mind you're not. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. She's not unhappy with your progress, but you still have a lot to prove. You should know. Practice makes perfect. She says nobody is perfect. That's why you practice. She'll see you at the village square. She understands, but sometimes you need to do what you have to and not what you want to. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. He's learned that things are never as bad as they seem. You'll feel better in the morning. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. It's your own future you're risking by not caring for the environment. The next generation will pay for the mistakes of the last. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some.
he wonders what usefulness you found. Sometimes he's an expert, but...